So I've noticed two things while I've been playing Infinite Warfare. One is that people use cover much less often than they have in previous Call of Duty games. I'm not sure why this happens, maybe it's because Infinite Warfare is so fast paced and people just like to rush and they don't think to use cover, or something like that. And the other thing I notice is that when people do use cover, they aren't really using it as effectively as they can. Gone are the days of Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, where pretty much any piece of cover in the game you could use as some kind of head glitch where only your head was peeking over the cover and you'd be pretty much impossible to hit but you'd have free reign to shoot at anybody anywhere. Cover nowadays is much more standardized and uniform. It's either too high to see over or it only covers about the lower half of your body and if you try to crouch or something you won't be able to see over it. That's usually how it is in these games. So you have to start using cover more effectively and sort of create nice head glitches and nice lines of sight so you can put yourself at a much stronger position to get more kills and be a much smaller hitbox. So a lot of the examples I saw of this were when I was playing the Genesis 24-7 playlist when it was out for the holidays, and what happened was around this central area of the map, people would love to run through, just run straight through, and try to look down some of these hallways. And obviously that's not the best way to do it, there's tons of different ways you can approach the situation. One is, instead of just rushing out, try to use this wall here on the left, and it's not a perfect head glitch, but what you can do is, you know, you can pretty much lean up to it so that it's on your left, and that'll cover a good, you know, 40-50% of your body even, so that cuts down your hitbox a lot. And then to add on top of that, you can even crouch too to get behind it, and look at that, I mean, your head's barely showing here, but you're still able to shoot that whole side of the hallway, which is pretty awesome. Another way to approach this situation would be to use the stairs behind you, and instead of, you know, just running straight out or running at the top of the stairs, stay at the bottom of the stairs and just try to barely peek your head over the stairs. Again, look down that same hallway. And then for looking at the hallway on the right, again, people like to hop on this cover and sort of just bounce up and down on it. But what you should do is, again, stay towards the wall and sort of dig your face into that corner there. So most of your body is covered and your hitbox is much smaller than you taking the cover out towards the left side of the box. So these are just some examples of how you should be using cover to your advantage. Cover's not like it was in previous games. You can't just hop on every piece of cover and be fully protected. In these games, it's much harder and less obvious to do that. But what I'm telling you guys is you gotta start paying attention to these things and doing them. Because it's such a small adjustment that you can make. I mean, a lot of the times you just hop up on the cover and you aren't really thinking about it. And I mean, I do that a lot too. But what you gotta realize is you can just spend that extra split second to sort of hide yourself a little bit behind the wall or set up on that cover a little bit better and you're not losing anything because you're still able to shoot all the enemies in your field of view and it only benefits you because you're making yourself such a small hitbox comparatively. And just one concluding remark, you gotta remember that understanding the line of sight that you have on enemies and that enemies have on you is a pretty big part of success in Call of Duty. If you can understand enemies' lines of sights on you and how your hitbox looks to them and how you can try to make that smaller while still being at a strong power position, that's really going to help you succeed in Infinite Warfare and that's really going to help raise your KD. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. You can start using cover more effectively because it's really going to benefit your game. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button for me and subscribe for more videos and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this, if this is something you've done before, something you've noticed on your own, or if you have any questions about it or how you use it on your own, some good examples of it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.